Ooh, that's a good one. That's definitely a keeper. So that's it. That's a wrap. Fishing season's over for this year. Uh, before I clean everything and put everything away, I figured I'd do a quick beginner's video on how to fish Ocean City. Uh, if you're, you know, new to fishing down here, you want to start fishing down here, or you're even coming on vacation and fishing down here, uh, this will be the perfect video for you. Uh, I do have to say though, if you are advanced or you are pretty knowledgeable of fishing down here, this video is not going to be of any help to you. So, all right, here we go. Let's get started. So what I'm going to do is go over a bunch of different things. I'm going to go over uh, accessories, some weights and hooks, uh, hard plastic, soft plastics, jig heads, uh, pre-tied rigs or rigs that you can get to make it easier bait and obviously a rod so uh, I'll jump right into it here we go this one is accessories things that I would absolutely recommend a pair of pliers these are fish grips uh, there's two different types the metal ones and the plastic ones you push it it opens it up you can grip inside the fish's mouth and hang on to it. Uh, this is personal preference. Plastic obviously isn't gonna corrode as much as metal, but it's totally up to you. Uh, another one that I would suggest is a pair of scissors or uh, a, a bait knife that you can use to cut your bait. Uh, I prefer scissors over everything. For some reason, it's just easier for me. Uh, and then the last thing is a tape measure to measure your fish. All right, next thing I'm gonna go over is weights, hooks, and some jig heads. Uh, the most common hooks that we use are really just the regular straight hooks and the circle hooks. Circle hooks, I use those if I'm casting out and leaving the bait out there. That way the hook will uh, do its work and do what it's designed to do and hook the fish itself. So here's what I mean if you're not familiar. That little top on the hook, see how it arches in? as opposed to the straight hook where it's straight out. Well, uh, that top, when it comes in, when the fish comes in and bites it and it turns, or turns that way too, it's going to hook itself. The fish will set its own hook as opposed to a, uh, just a regular straight hook where you have to set the hook on the fish. Uh, the most common hook sizes that we use are uh, one aught, two aught, three aught, four aught, uh, if you're doing sixes, that would be like on the beach, but pretty much the most common ones are uh, the one aught, two aught, three aught, and four aught. Um, these are number fours, four aughts, and those are the ones that I use the most. These are the most common for me. For weights, there's two different types. This is a bank sinker. It looks like that. This is a two ounce. Has number two on it, if you can see it. And a pyramid sinker, and this is a four ounce. Fours on pyramid sinkers and twos on bank sinkers are the most common. There's two different reasons for them. A bank sinker is if I'm fishing for flounder and I have it on a flounder rig and it just bounces off the bottom as I'm going. And a pyramid sinker is if I'm casting out and I want it to stay out there and not move. If you were to cast this out there, all it's gonna do is bounce along the embankments and just keep going as opposed to a pyramid sinker that's gonna sink and get stuck to where it is. As far as jig heads go, jig heads that we use, uh, anything from an eighth of an ounce, like I have on a spec rig right here, up to a uh, half ounce, one ounce. One ounce is usually pretty much the, the highest that we'll go. But uh, these are just regular standard jig heads that we use for just soft plastics. So as far as lures go, we use mainly two, uh, two of the most common types of these gotcha plugs. You attach it to the main line right here on that, uh, right on top, right there. And the, this is a mirror lure, you attach it right here. Uh, these are the most common, you can use these in the surf, um, off the piers, pretty much anywhere you really want. As far as soft plastics go, these gulp baits are the most popular. You see them all the time, everywhere, all over here. Uh, they come in different colors. They have white, um, chartreuse, pink. There's a gulp, uh, it's like a salmon red. It's more like a reddish orange. Those are very popular. The most popular size is the four inch. And again, these are the swimming mullets. Uh, these are extremely popular. You can put them on just regular jig heads like those and cast them out for 
uh, striped bass or you can put them on flounder rigs too and catch some flounder with them. Uh, other popular baits that we use are these uh, swim shads. Anything with the chartreuse tail, that's always the best ones to get down here. And we also use these riptide shads. These are extremely popular. It's the salt and pepper, they're uh, five inch. These are four inch, but you can go uh, bigger if you want. Um, but these four and five inch are usually the best. These are the most common. We see a lot of people with those. Up next, what I got for you is rigs. These are just two pre-tied rigs. Um, these are the, the easiest to get if you're looking to start into it without trying to tie your own. Uh, this is a double drop. It's also, I call it a high-low. Uh, basically what it is, is you have a uh, um, hook up in the middle, you have a hook on the bottom, and then you have your weight all the way down at the bottom. So it goes in three. So you have one, two, and then three all the way down is where your weight is. So those uh, are the most popular if you're just going to cast out with the circle hook on there and just leave it out there and see what, what fish bite it. Um, the other one is a flounder rig. This is from Fish and OC. These are extremely popular if you're looking to get into flounder. They have a spinning blade on them. It's a variation of a high-low rig. So instead of uh, the weight being at the bottom, it's in the middle. So you have one up here, then your weight, and then all the way at the bottom is your, your little tailor that's down there. Those are extremely popular as well. So as far as bait goes, this is the preferred bait that I use. It's squid, it's cut up. And I take my scissors and all I do is just cut chunks out of it and put it on the hooks. Uh, you can use squid, you can use shrimp from the grocery store, even uh, finger mullet. You can cut that up into, uh, into little chunks and put them on the hooks. These are about 450 to 550 a box. Uh, all the other baits pretty much vary. The only one, the squid that I would actually stay away from is the Sherry Joe's brand. It comes in like a little uh, Tupperware container, little circular container. Um, that, I've never caught anything off it. It's, the fish don't seem to like it. So I would, I would definitely stay away from that. Um, squid, this squid is definitely the best and the one that I would, I would suggest the most of. Uh, I've always done well with this. As far as rods, the rods that I suggest, uh, there's obviously many, many, many different types that you can get. Um, you can go to Walmart and get them, or you can go to the tackle shops and get them. Uh, if you're not familiar with the rods, all the way on the bottom of them, you can see the line weight, and I'll put it down here. If you can see it, it might be a little bit blurry. But this one's a six to 15 pound braid. I use 15 pound braid on this one. Uh, I would suggest anything from 10 all the way up to 25 is pretty much what I use. I don't go below 10. Uh, mainly, I don't really go over 25. There's really no reason to. Uh, but as, as far as that goes, there's obviously there's many different rods. Uh, whatever you suggest to buy, you can buy a cheap one if you're just going to fish here for a little bit. Or I, um, if you're going to fish a couple times a year, I would suggest uh, a little bit more pricier one that's going to outlast you far more than the, the cheap $30 rods. Uh, with any rod though, what I would say is make sure that when you get back to wash out your reels and hose off the whole rod itself too. The salt water corrodes everything. You can see it in my pliers. This is only after about a year's use, so um, just make sure you wash it off and you should be fine with it. Uh, for the $30 rods, the real cheap ones, $25, $30 rods, you'll notice that the, the reels are probably going to lock up on you after about a year or two of use. Um, if you fish regularly, it's going to happen a lot sooner. So what I would suggest is to get some of the, uh, if you, if you want to get a, a decent, uh, reel that's going to last. I use these Penrath reels and those tend to last a decent amount of time. Uh, so that way if I do have like one of my cheaper rods, this white one right here, I just throw a Penrath on there. They're like 30 bucks and that thing will last me a good while. As far as tackle shops, the best tackle shop that I like to use is Atlantic Tackle. It's in West Ocean City uh, off of like Sunset Marina area. 
that will have pretty much all everything that you need to get here they have extremely expensive rods or they have cheaper rods they have your bait uh rigs even the flounder rigs the fish and oc rigs uh, all your soft plastics um, this one actually came from Atlantic Tackle. They have weights. Everything that you need is there. There's another one that's right off of 50, uh, right next to the Royal Farms in West Ocean City on the way into Ocean City. And that one's uh, called All Tackle. All Tackle's uh, good, good with bait. I always seem to find what I need there for bait. Real good selection of it. Uh, but as far as all the other stuff, they're kind of limited a little bit, uh, especially rods too. So Atlantic Tackle is definitely the place that I would go uh, if you're looking at sort of like a one-stop shop type of deal. Uh, last thing I'm going to go over is actually one of the more important things about all of this is um, they have a... Maryland makes it really easy. They have an app on your phone that you could download. It's the DNR app. Uh, you can buy a fishing license from it. It's got um, uh, it's got pretty much everything you need to know. Regulations, uh, even has like fish identification. So it looks like this. It's this one right here. Uh, that's what I download. I have it on my phone all the time. Um, from there, uh, the regulations for you need to have a fishing license down here. The only area is 125th Street Park, which there isn't really many fish up there anyway. And 4th Street, those are the two free fishing zones. Everywhere else you do have to have a license. So just make sure that you buy a license before you go. The app, I like it because it tells tells you pretty much everything else you, you need to know so that you don't have to remember all the regulations that has it right on the app itself. The, or the main thing I do suggest for regulations, we are not part of the Chesapeake Bay. We're part of the Atlantic coast and its tributaries. So it's different regulations for us as opposed to fishing up in the Chesapeake Bay. So that's one key thing is you have to remember that we're the Atlantic coast. Uh, different things to know, uh, just small things. For example, we can keep female crabs here. You can't keep them up in the bay. Uh, another thing is striped bass or rockfish as some people call it. Uh, up in the bay, it's 19 inches. For us, it's a slot size, 28 inches to 35. So, like I said, it's, it's different regulations, but it's good to have that app on your phone so that you can just look it up real quick, uh, grab your ruler and decide, decide if you want to bring it home and eat it or throw it back. So that's all I got. I got to wash everything, put it all away for the winter. If you got any questions, just let me know. Just put them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. If I can't, I'm sure someone else will. YouTube is kind of odd with the comments. They don't really alert me on all of them but they do on most, so if I skip over you, just bear with me. I'll see it eventually and I'll just comment as soon as I can. As far as some of the stuff that I have, I'll put some links down below to try to help you out and uh, so that you'll kind of see prices and stuff like that. So, uh, especially for Atlantic Tackle, All Tackle, um, places to go to, to get all your, your equipment. So, good luck out there. I'll probably see you around. If you do, say hi. So, all right, thanks. See ya.